This is Drell with Quantum Light Consciousness. Today we're going to talk about how consciousness works, okay? This is going to be like a uh, how the universe works 101 video. Um, primarily because there's so many different types of belief systems and different types of notions and concepts of thought in the consciousness community today. I just want to uh, throw my hat in the ring and just, you know, give my opinion and my take on how I view my own personal reality. Okay, so um, some of the things that people focus on are pretty much the idea that this entire experience is some type of simulation, which you, it's believable to some people. Um, some people think it's a video game. Some people think it's a school. Some people think it's a test. Um, you know, and then it goes from there, from like wacky to like more rational. Okay, those are the big couple belief systems all right um, my personal belief is that the universe is actually alive this is a living experience it's a class okay it's a class experience it's kind of like a giant kingdom that we're all in that we're all partaking as miniature incarnations of our of our higher selves in human form okay and the more you go into the more you go inside yourself, the more you find out who you are and the more you find out how expansive this inner realm actually is within you, all right? And the only way to do this is through meditation, through inner work, through introspection and diligence to actually uh, bring about those states within your own very being, which we all have, all right? So um, what I want to share today is what I had actually gotten from a download from uh, you know, just doing the work and, you know, just being who I am on the inner realms of my own reality, which I li always like to actually record videos about and share with you eventually. All right. So, um, breaking it down simply, all right, the way I see, the way I experience my own inner realms is through a state of emptiness and a state of fullness of being everything and being nothing. It's kind of like being like being how Shiva is being Shiva. It's like he has this uh, ethereal quality, massive proportion of a state of being of being everything and then being nothing as he is known as that which is not. All right. It means being darkness and then being light. And as I have um, explained in my previous videos how darkness actually isn't darkness at all. It's kind of just like space for light, for higher potential of light to exist because space isn't empty as you think it is. It's been proven in physics that the cubic centimeter of space time is actually very full. It's like imp like like super super full as full as can be. It's actually like, within a cubic centimeter of space time exist the entire energy of the entire universe all the information of everything is in every minuscule uh, Planck cube or or Planck particle of the universe because the universe knows itself inside out okay so within this empty space of which is full you have yourself you begin to actually Astro project, you begin to actually remote view, you begin to actually move out of body and experience and activate your third eye when you do this work and you begin to actually embody yourself as this empty space of the universe. Okay? So, what consciousness is, is this empty space. You have this empty space within inside of you and you utilize it as that space, as yourself. Alright? then you begin to actually do those wonderful things, all right? And um, the more I develop and the more I explore and the more I experience myself in these realms, the more I understand it. So here's a download that I just got recently. And 
helicopter right over my head. Alright, that's weird. <laughs> Get a shot. Yeah. Well, look, it's a helicopter. It's way by. Okay. I'm out here doing my work, sun charging, activating my vessel, and it's just like, oh, helicopter shows up. Oh, interesting. Alright. So, anyway. Um, here's a download that I got like a, like a couple a couple days ago. All right, it shows how everything is the same and how consciousness actually makes up everything as light because light is everything. Okay. All right. So you have right. You have the stars here. Now the stars are also light photons in an illuminated perspective of the universe so you have stars right they also serve as Planck particles which are light photons so when you look at the stars in the sky that's a, a microscopic perspective or it can be a, a macroscopic perspective okay because they're the same they're the same thing all right it just depends what size you are when you're looking at them okay so from our earth perspective they're very large worlds, except they look very small. However, from your higher self's perspective, they're very small worlds that look very large to us, okay? Um, so, I mean, everything's subjective, everything is different from where you're looking at it from, and it really depends who you are and what level of consciousness that you've actually obtained, okay? So, you have... Here, a Taurus, all right? And the Taurus also makes up everything, all right? This is the kicker. This is what really actually blew my mind here. The Taurus actually equals a perfect eclipse. Just like when you see the sun in the sky and the moon goes in front of the sun, you have the perfect ring of light. That actually is a form of consciousness, all right? That's actually something that is functional in nature, that actually works for the involvement of humanity and their own awareness and perspective of their own consciousness, all right? So, when you see these things happening in nature, like, all this stuff isn't happening just out of, out of nowhere. Like, there's an intelligent design of what is going on in the sky, um, the proportions of nature and creations and mathematics and physics and how it all ties together perfectly, okay? So, the ring around the Taurus actually is the perfect eclipse, okay? So, when you have a ring, that actually means you are completed. You actually have the full knowledge of self, all right? when you're able to actually construct a ring within your own personal reality and work with that in your own astral realms that means you've completed yourself and you're now enlightened okay that's why you always see these these major pieces of artwork with the deities or with the ascended masters or 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 buddhas or enlightened extraterrestrials they have a ring around their head or they have a sun around their head all right the so sun basically means you're, you know, Christed, you're an enlightened being. However, the ring is actually like a, that's like an upgrade. It's like you've mastered yourself and you've mastered the darkness of yourself as well. Okay? So it's like a super upgrade. Okay? So this is what I got, like, this diagram, literally, like, picture for picture is actually what I got in my third eye waking up a couple days ago. Okay? So take this for what it is, you know, I like to uh, give you guys the information when it comes in. I like to uh, bounce my experiences out there into the realms of, you know, what you guys may be experiencing. And, you know, just let me know if you guys would have any questions about this. Um, visit my website, quantumlight.org. Um, and yeah, if you guys would like a session, I do healing, intuitive reading, numerology readings custom artwork so much more just remember when you're doing this work stay in your heart
do the things that feel natural to you do the things that are going to get you into the spaces where you feel like you are most powerful and you feel like you have the most control all right because when you have the most control that is where you're going to see the most results all right so breathe from your heart be who you are and ask your higher self to be with you because they are your best guide okay peace and love talk to you soon